Recently, I had a request to automatically replace specific values when entered into a sheet. In this case, it was for privacy. They said I need to keep real names hidden on a data sheet that is constantly being updated. So anytime a specific value is entered, we need to replace that. Let's go ahead and say that the name is CO Bibble. And I want to replace that with the number four. Okay. Now, for doing that normally, we can just do Control H or find a replace, find CO Bibble, replace with four. Replace all, and there it replaces it. Right, but that doesn't do it ongoing. We want to do it when the name is entered, it will go ahead and replace it. Let's go to extensions, app script. Now, the logic we're looking for is pretty simple. If the value entered on edit matches the value we want to replace, change the value. Change this function on edit. And as always, if not e, around, not e. So if there is no edit, throw do not run from editor. The function runs automatically whenever an edit is made. And then we're going to run our function called auto replace values. Let's create function auto replace values. Ask the e const source equals e dot source dot get active sheet and const r equals e dot range. So as I'm thinking about it, we really don't need these two. Most of the scripts we've done have been for specific sheets, specific ranges. Here we're looking for a specific value anywhere. So let's go ahead and change that. Const val equals e dot value. We don't even need that because we aren't going to need to call it multiple times. So if e dot value equals, and our num our value was co bibble here. And now we like to do it. If it is not co bibble, then return. Which means that if it is co bibble, it'll continue to the rest. Otherwise, it's going to leave the script as fast as possible. Here, e dot range, right? We don't need to call it as r because we're not referencing it multiple times. And that's why we, we declare things here if we're going to reference them multiple times. We're going to do r dot column start, r dot row start, r dot get a one notation. We're going to be doing them a lot. We're not, right? We're just going to use it the once, e dot range dot set value four. That's all we need to do, right? This is a really, really small script to make this work. So coming back here, if I type in Spencer, it's not gonna do anything. If I type in CO Bibble, it replace it with the number four. Now that great, works great for this single value, but let's say we have some other values we want to use as well. Let's say dud bolt is eight. And let's say that to my is seven. Okay, so there's going to be my three names. Now I do want to declare something up here. I want to set const values equals, and we're going to use all three of these names. Easiest way to do that, let's just copy it here. So I'm going to make an array with all three of these names. And now I'm going to say a little bit different of an if function construction. If, you know, let's do this in a separate function. Off the same thing, and then I'll just change which one's active. If not values dot includes e dot value. So this one's a little different. We're saying if the values array here 
does not include whatever is an e.value, then return. Now I want a second array here of replacements. We have four, eight, and seven. Biggest thing here is make sure that the values in this array and this array are in the same order. Right, whatever I want COBibble to be replaced with needs to be first, Deadbolt needs to be second, Shumai needs to be third. If I put the seven here, it's not going to work. If I flip those around, it actually has to be in the desired order. So now instead of just e.range.setValue like we did here, I want to do e.range.setValue. Well, what I mean is instead of doing a single value here, I want to get replacements. And the value I want for replacements is values dot index of e dot value. So this index of says return the number zero one two. Re return the location in this array where it found the value of the edit. Okay. Now I'm doing this twice, so I do actually want to replace this const index equals values.index of e.value. And now my if statement should be if index equals negative one. Negative one is the return value of an index of call if it doesn't find it. So it'll be zero, one, two, but if I did put in Spencer, it would return negative one. So if index equals negative one, which is the same as saying, if you did not find the, the value in this array, then return. Now, instead of calling this again, I'm going to use index. So get all the values that I want to replace. Find the location in that array where the edited value appears. Quit if it doesn't find it. Declare the array of replacements. Replace in the range the value with the replacements value. So now if I come over here, let's just do it in order. See how Bipo replaces with four. That bolt replaces with eight. Shumai replaces with seven. And that's going to work anywhere across the sheet. And that will even work on other tabs. So there we have it. Like I said, really, really simple here of replacing values, either replacing a single value in just two lines, which is essentially one line of actual working. There's just one line of making sure that it's the correct type of edit. And then another version to replace multiple values with multiple replacements.